Okay, so here it is. Um, this is the marine tank, 29 gallon tank that we set up, I set up yesterday. It's just about 23 and a half, 24 hours old um, or new or however you want to say it. Um, as you can see, it's still cloudy. That's totally normal for those of you that don't know fish. Um, when you do a new tank, they do a cycle and they've got to do their thing to where, you know, like ammonias and stuff build up and the nitrates and all that. It gets really complicated and, um, and then all of a sudden you wake up one morning and boom, you got crystal clear water and uh, you're ready for um, fish and invertebrates and whatever else you want um, so yeah it's it's looking good it's a little cloudy um, it takes some time I did rearrange um, the rock this morning I didn't like the way I had it so I switched it up and I still may switch it up I think this piece right here I'm going to I, I don't know. I don't like it, so I may replace it with a piece of live rock. This is dry rock, so this did not come with any of the um, beneficial bacteria that the tank needs and that the fish need and the invertebrates need um, for survival. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, it's doing good. Uh, I got uh, my salinity is... A tad high, it was between 1.023 and 1.024, which is, again, it's perfectly acceptable. Um, I guess everything that I've been told, you want to be around 1.022, but as long as you're, there, there, it's like anything, you have a range that you can be in, and as long as you're within that range, you're gonna do just fine um, so and like I said it, it'll, it'll change a little bit as I know you know salt tanks are completely different from marine tanks so it will change over time um, but the power head is working we have good flow filters doing its thing the heater is doing its thing I actually adjusted the heater was just a, it came from the from the factory it came uh, preset at 79 degrees um, and I've learned with the, these uh, Eheim Jaegers, um, you have to calibrate them. So it takes a day or so to kind of figure out where they are. And mine was, you know, it was up around 79. So I calibrated it and then um, dropped it down to 75 for now. Um, I will, you know, once everything stabilizes and we get ready for fish, I'll, I might turn it up to like 66, 67. I know I keep our fresh water at 77 degrees. Um, because these Eheim Jaegers, they have a, about a four degree uh, high and low. So like they'll go, if I have it set at 77, it'll go down to like 75 and then at 75 and a half, it'll kick up, you know, the, the heater will turn on and then it might heat it to 78 and a half, 79 and then drop down. So there's a little bit of a variance there, but the fish are, you know, the fish in the, the marine or the freshwater tank, which is right here are doing just fine so um there's one of the go it's a nice healthy tank we've had that one since may um and it gave me a little bit of a fit for a little bit and it took some time to get it all straightened out but she's she's doing real good my levels are great and the fish are healthy so nothing really to complain about there so it's Time to, you know, we're going to focus on that, which is good that the other one's doing so great because I don't have to worry about it. I feed the fish um, every other day or so or three days a week, whatever it is. I, I forget what I feed them, I, but they know when I feed them. Um, so, but yeah, so we've got uh, some good. Now, I don't have this um, wave maker set on the highest setting either and I'm kind of just playing around where with trying to find the best circulation of water versus the best surface agitation and where I can get it I think 
that I've got it done pretty good because I got good surface agitation, but not so much that it's going to come flying up out of the tank. But then I don't know if we can see it. Um, it might be hard to see, but some of the so you can see every once in a while you can see the sand um, moving around a little bit. So I'm really excited about this marine tank. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do, and my son wanted Nemo fish, like I said, so it suits both of our purposes. I, I get to have a saltwater tank, he gets to ooh and ah over Nemo fish, and um, he, 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 for some reason, he saw some, um, some crabs at the store the other day, and he has just been infatuated with crabs, so he wants little hermit crabs, um, I guess they're blue-legged crabs or whatever they are in there, so that's what we're going to put in. Um, we're going to put it, you know, obviously we're going to have a cleaning crew and whatnot, so. Um, so I'm using, uh, real quick, I wanted to tell you what my equipment that I'm using with is. That is the, I think it's called J-Bow, J-Bow, someone might want to correct me on that, J-Bow, um, OW25, it's like one of their latest models. Um, for right now for filtration, I'm going to go with the canister eventually, but... I'm using a Fluval C3 hang on back filter, which is, this is a 29 gallon tank and that's suitable for up to 50 gallons. So I've got plenty of filtration. And then again, the Eheim Jaeger um, heater. And then I'm using the Fluval AquaSky 2.0 for my lighting, which eventually that will change because that it's suitable for fish only salt water. Um, so eventually when I want, when I start getting into corals and I have this tank up and running for six to eight months, um, you know, I'll, I'll need to upgrade my lighting. I'm probably going to upgrade the lighting sooner than that, just because why not? And, um, uh, so anyway, um, this is 24 hours out, um, from, from, from initial setup and it's looking good. Everything is in parameters. And obviously I didn't do like ammonia test nitrates nitrites i didn't do any of that um there i don't I, someone correct me again if i'm wrong but i, I don't think there's even going to be any nitrates or nitrites in there because that's per, you know that comes from the waste and stuff well there's no fish in there there's nothing in there creating waste so i don't have a need for it so Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this, and I don't know if I'm going to do one every day, but maybe every other day or something like that. A couple times a week we'll do an update on it. We'll just see how things go, and if my three-year-old, who I'm surprised is not in here at the moment, is, he's cooperating. So anyway, uh, everyone have a good night, and we'll see you later.